All righty. All righty. Excuse me. Every time. Maybe I should do it before I eat dinners. All right, let's do this here. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's this one, but it's we'll go as far as we can with it. Um, from the top, nice and slow. Wednesday, and uh, I'm just going to talk about um, what's going on in my life. Just to get up there and talk about it. So I've got. I did. I just thought like I got permission. I just wanted to run things by. Uh, I don't like this one either. Um, you know. I just, I just said, hey, listen, I'm going to go up there. I'm just going to talk about you. And she's like, yeah, whatever. So, and this is my, uh, my current wife. Divorce will be finalized December 16th. Did the same, the same one comes up. This one, like, I mean, the, it's like the YouTube thing comes up. And you think you've searched the right one. And, okay, this is, I guess, more appropriate. And, uh, they just send you, just, you know, it, it's, 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 if you look at the Netflix, HBO, Amazon Prime, whatever, if you look at all of the home screen, what movies to watch, this and that, you know, uh, it's a it's a tic tac toe shit show. It is. It'll have new movies, and there'll be five of them. Popular movies, and there'll be five of them. It'll have horror, and there'll be five of them. And of those three categories, there'll be the same three or four movies. It all is like, what are they doing to us? What are we doing to ourselves? Can we not get off? So anyway, the divorce will be finalized on December 16th. Unless one of us has a change of heart, change of mind, change of opinion, change of life. How about that? Oh, my life changed. I want you back. What, what happened? Did you run out of money? Okay. So you want me back because you run out of money. That happens, does it not? That happens. That happens. People run out of money. I want you back. Okay. Yeah, okay. you know so I was like hey Goldie let me um do you mind if I just um this is the 
is actually really hard. It's funny. I think it's funny. I said, do you mind if I uh, tell people you're dead? And she's like, what? What does that mean? And I, I said, I just want to tell people that you're dead. And as I was going to explain to her, it's easier to tell people, new people I meet in life, that you're dead. And she, she said, who are you telling? Who, who are you? Wait a minute. You know, she gave it a look like, oh, did I meet somebody? Is that what you're asking? Did I, did I strike a chord there? Do you want to meet that person? Oh, my bad. No, I, I'm trying to do it as a joke on stage. said, you know, I just want to go up there and say that you're dead, but then you're really not. The joke is, my ex-wife is dead, right, my ex-wife, my ex-wife is dead, like, well, you should be happy about that, but the mother to my four children alive and well, right, so the wife is dead, oh, so sad, but the mother's alive, it's the same person, so that's, you know, because the truth is, uh, you want the person to be alive, even when you're getting divorced, you still, as, as, as a bitch, they can be, a bastard, a motherfuck, whatever you want to call them, you still want them alive. Because it could be worse if they were dead, right? Let it be, let it be. Ooh, that was a trick. Right? If they were dead, it would be sad. As they are alive, there's always a chance, there's always a possibility, there's always a something, there's always a whatever, you know, and um, when they are alive, uh, I forget how it's, the joke is, and what I'm trying to say and get out with the emotions of going through divorce and her not being dead, it would be the, it wouldn't be the same, if she was dead, we wouldn't be divorced, we'd be, I'd be a widow, I'd be widowed, right? It'd be, oh, so sad, so sad she died. You know, how do you get over that? You, so you, you can move on from an ex. You can move on, right? You can get over an ex, right? You can move forward from a death. We all have grandma, grandpa, uncle, mom, dad, whatever. You, you, you keep going. You can do it, but when it's your spouse, if your spouse was to die, and and you're there, and you get, you're left with the kids, well, the new relationship coming into that, that's where the jokes are. That's where the jokes are. What would be better if you were to go on a date? So tell me about your ex. Actually, I don't have an ex. Uh, my wife. Um, may she rest in peace. She passed away. She was hit by a bus about four years ago. But uh, you know, I mean, I've I've uh, I've accepted God, the universe. You know, I've 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 made it. I've uh, you know, I've, I've I'm not crying about it anymore. I can talk about it now. It's it's easy. It's okay. It's okay. We don't have, we don't have to go there. I can tell you everything if you want. Whatever you want to know, I could blah 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 blah. blah you know, blah, blah, blah. it's a sob story. It's nice. It's great. You know, you as a person coming into that relationship, you will never be as good as that dead spouse. Never. You'll never live up to the dead spouse. No how much good you try. It will never, you'll never be as good as the dead spouse. <clears throat> Did you guys like that song? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm blanking on songs. Sorry about that. I should do... Uh, Feels like I'm going, going to. I want to fight, actually, like a fist fight. I wanna, but not a, not a, no, not a fight. I want a competition. I want a, I want a, a Muay Thai competition. That's what I want. I want a Muay Thai competition. With somebody who's just as tall as me, same height. You know, all that, all that stuff. The same, you know, not, not faster. Well, faster, whatever, but not, not. Um, there should be some kind of age limit. I'm 42. I'm not going to take take a fight. But I'm saying I have that in me. I have the desire. I want to go like sign up at, at the MMA gym, hit the bags, hit the mitts, uh, and just like, hey, you want to do some body shots only? You know, get the ribs gone, you know, put on some stuff or something, and just bam, 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 bam. And then, and then uh, I don't do that. I just don't want to do that. But uh, I don't have to. I don't need to. I just want to. That was a tangent, but it's related to this, you know, because so like, like that's the death side. On the flip side is so. Uh, tell me about your ex. All her fault. This is what the heck is going on, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? I got it. I got. It. I know what I'm gonna do. So, um, you know, you, um, tell me about your ex. Oh, that piece of shit. It's all his fault. Oh, that, that bimbo, it's all her fault, right? Now, you do realize that every single relationship that you go on, every single new relationship, new date, new girlfriend, new boyfriend, whatever, my wife is telling her boyfriend that the breakup is all my fault. I am telling the new people in my life that the breakup is all her fault. Do you see that? They're, we're both, we're do, the whole world is doing that. Every single relation is doing that. Oh yeah, it's all it's his fault, her fault. It, it, it. No, 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 it's 50-50. It's 50-50. It's 50-50, okay? It takes two to tango. No, it's 60-40. No, it's 50-50, all right? Um, I guess we'll just do this stuff here. I don't, um, hmm. okay, this is a good one. We can do this one over and over again. This is a tough one. So, the joke's in there. The joke's in there. It's summer, because it's, it's true. It's so true. You know, you know, I, I, how about this one? I want to meet somebody with no baggage. Oh, really? You want a baby? This is hard. You, you want, you want, you want a baby. You want to date a baby. Somebody with no baggage. Baggage free. The fuck? What is that? Baggage free. I don't have any baggage. Really? No. You married? No. You got kids? No. Isn't that baggage? Is it not having anyone baggage? Gosh, this is ridiculous. Beethoven. 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 Okay. Right, there's there's no such thing as no baggage. Everyone has baggage. Kids are not baggages. I hate to break it to you baggage handlers out there. Kids are not baggage. Okay? Exes? They're not baggage either. If you're going to say exes are baggage, then you are an ex telling yourself that you're baggage as well. No baggage. Ba define baggage. Here's my definition. Are you ready? Dog, cat, rat, snake, uh, turtle. Remember Piffles? When I was a kid, she had not one, but two guinea pigs.
That's baggage to me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't tolerate smokers. Um, good for you, you're not a smoker? Right? I mean, come on, like... It's... What are people expecting? Like perfection? You know how hard... Strike one. You know how hard this song is? I'm going so slow. so slow. It's supposed to be like... Anyway! Yeah, that's just, you know... I, I want to say a lot more, but it's just so personal. I'm going to wait for Wednesday night. Throw under the bus. You know? I just... Uh, she texted me the other day. I'm coming over to pick him up. I'll be in the back. I'm bringing... Um, couldn't the Koopas with me? Is that okay? Why wouldn't it be? Am I in charge of your relationship? You know? Like what? I talked to a buddy today and he's like, I understand that. I think it's respectable. I think it's, um, he saw it as a positive. And I get it. I get it. But I was telling her long time ago, don't you think I should meet this guy before our kid meets this guy? And she said, no, I don't think it is a big deal right now. And I said, what does that mean? Can you be more specific? It's not that serious, him and me. So you don't have to worry about a thing right now, this moment. Right? She said something like that. And I'm just like, okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. The way she, like... Like, when you've lived with someone and known someone for so long that you can hear the lie without looking at the lie, you can see the lie without hearing the lie, body language. Uh, it's just funny, but it's, it's uh, you know, it is what it is. I just feel sorry for my son. That's it. Our son, excuse me. I feel sorry because uh, it's not going to be the same thing. I know that. She's not a cunt. You know, there's cunts out there. And she's not one of them. So, uh, and plus, we live in this country where there is no alimony. There is no winning. Ha, I got the kids. Ha. I saw this meme or thing the other day. I don't know. It said, uh, it was a sign. It was a sign on the street. And it said, to all the um, single mothers who are complaining about where's the fathers, well, you had a father and you made him fight. And the sign said something like, why do the fathers have to fight in the first place to see their children? Why do fathers have to fight to be fathers? And mothers are just, you know, here you go. Munchausen by proxy, go right ahead. Anyway, I feel 
confident um, that I'm going to fulfill my seven minutes of stage time. Strike one, that was horrible. Or, no, I'm going to fulfill my seven minutes. Laughs or not, I don't know. I don't know the future, but I do feel confident I am going to. You know, what, what do you always say, Mom? God willing, God willing, when I get there, I'm going to crush. Otherwise, I mean, I won't be there. There's just weird stuff going on. Like when it's just us three. When it's just us three, her, me, and our boy. We were at the pool on Saturday for like maybe an hour or more. Right? It was like there's no divorce. Her body language, her verbal language, talk about my body, and my chest, and my six pack, and my arms, and all this stuff, and it's like, what are you doing? Like, literally, what are you doing? Isn't there some new guy you're boning? Shouldn't you be back out Google over this guy? What do you, you know, what is that? Oh, you, you want it. You want it again. You want it again. And the more I continue to keep working on myself and keep being me and, and, and writing books and jokes and, and working out and intermittent fasting and blah blah blah, just fixing my fucking loser language. what I'm capable of. She's been, she saw me at 270 pounds and now she sees me at 200 pounds. She knows. She knows. I know she knows. Because after she moved out, I don't know how many times, but she come back. Hey, it's me. What you want? I want what's between your legs. Oh, okay. What a coincidence. I want what's between your legs too. How about we stop this Bull crap and do what we're supposed to do with our family now? Nah. Is that brain of yours I don't like? What's that? No, duh! You, you think I don't like your brain? It's mutual. We need to f solve it somehow. Oh, okay. This is how we're going to solve it. I'm going to go. This is horrible. From the top, we got to go faster. Ugh. You know what? Screw it. Seven minutes left. From the top. I do it now. There's only five minutes left. There's a five minute song. We can do this. 
we meaning Nimesov and I. <laughs> It's okay. Foul tips. Yeah, there's just like a lot of stuff I can look at and I can be like, but, 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 but that's not the relationship. The relationship is not time to go, uh, well, on this day, uh, six months ago, uh, you fucked me and you're saying that you didn't fuck anybody else around that time, but according to my, uh, catalog, you did fuck. So, can you explain yourself, please? answer when she said who are you gonna tell that I'm dead I told the truth I said people I meet in the future well some of those people that I was going to meet in the future had names but I don't want to tell their names because well one our son was there and two it's none of her business. So, is it okay if, if uh, fuck friend and, and I come over? It's not my business. It's only your business to come pick up our son and set and set such a time. So, you know, do your job, mom. How funny is that too? Like, I want space. Uh-huh. How's that working out in your ass? You know? I don't know about that. But what I want... I don't want anybody around. I don't care who it is. It could be, who's my number one? Susan Sarandon. Oh my gosh, sorry Susan. When I want space, I mean I love you Susan Sarandon. But when I want space, I want space. I don't know what to say. advice for the video. Is that the end? Yeah, the other one has a much better end. It's like, it's like, it's like...
Alright. Oh, it's this one? I like this one. What do you know? You guys get an encore. Um, yeah, well. Right, this, right. How do you play this song? This is, I'll just do the right hand because. No, come on. That 10 2. That is wicked nasty, and it was going so slow. It's it's uh you know it takes it takes a really really evil mean person to make you when you think about them that you don't think about good times. When I think about, if you heard a fart, sorry about that. But hey, at least you can't smell it. When you think about your exes, sometimes you have good thoughts. It takes an evil person, an evil person. When you think about them, you don't have good thoughts. It's all negative. And I don't have that. I don't have that. I love my son's mother. I might not love my ex-wife, my dead wife, the same way as I used to, but I love her. Oh, always. Why wouldn't I? She's not Voldemort. So, good for her, you know? That, that's, that's, that's what I'm getting at. In this, if she was to be dead, there's no coming back. There's no starting over. There's no going forward. There's no giving it one last try. There's no, here we go again. There's no, I got sucked back in again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I bumped into him at the movie theater. Yeah, my fuck buddy was in the bathroom. Yeah, I, yeah, he had, he had his cologne on. No, the, the cologne I gave him. Yeah, no, he still had it. Yeah, yeah, can you believe that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, I smelled that cologne. I was like, that's why I got it for him, for him to wear it when he's around me. And what do you know? Just by chance, he ran into me. Oh my gosh, now we're fucking all the time. Right? I mean, when you're still alive, the vultures, endless possibilities. Uh, so, the song is hard. But the more you practice, just like with life, it gets easier. And that's all that is happening. You can only practice life. You can't perfect it. If you perfected life, well, here comes a callback joke. You would have no more baggage. If you had a perfect life, you would have no more baggage. I want someone who's baggage free. It's funny because it's, it's both ways. Guys complain. Because I want I want my woman cheese to be shaved at all times. Her vagina? No, her head. She needs to have a shaved head at all times. Really? Yeah, man. That's her deal. If she don't have a shaved head, I ain't touching her.
workout, I'll be playing this with the trap players at least three times a day for the next a long time till I master it. Yeah, it's supposed to be like dab speed. Because we do, we, we, we do we. We do we. You do you, and I do me. Okay, we do we. But when we do we around a new person, well then the new you slowly starts to come out because you're doing something that you used to do around someone else sometimes. Your voices, your wisecracks, your belches, your farts, your burps, where you cut your toenails, all that stuff in a new relationship changes. get fatter, faster, because you're fucking more, you know, at the beginning. You're supposed to actually lose weight in that time, but you know, I mean, life's tough, life's tough. Kids, diets, uh, you know, pills, uh, you know, school, nursing, uh, firefighting, skydiving, I mean, you know, the body likes to hold on to weight. I've noticed that now in my um, one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, and then two days of the weekend I can do whatever I want, um, fasting rotation. When, before I started that, I used to drink a mass amounts of water and coffee and bathroom all the time. Now, I still drink the same amount of coffee. The water's not the same because I'm peeing less. The body holds on. When you fast, the body holds on. You're gonna lose fat, but it holds on to water. It holds on to carbs. It holds on to muscle. It holds on. It's like, we need this. We don't know what's going on. The zombie apocalypse is upon us. Last time we had food was 27 hours ago. And then you shove a fat meal in there. And then, you know, it's, it's good. That was it. Beethoven, I actually have more on that last song. I didn't see what that last song was. Last piece, whatever. You know, it's it's just whatever. It's It could be worse. She could be dead. She's not dead, see? So, but the grieving, you're grieving. Basically, you're grieving. Um, oh, I'm way over. Ciao.